Restoring a Vintage Bike Part 3. Hi guys, I'm Dan at VintageVelo.org and today is the final part in our three-part Restoring a Vintage Bike series. Uh, we are reassembling this 1975 Lejeune race bike. Uh, now the paint's been on for a few weeks, had a chance to harden off. Now, of note, Freshly painted bikes, they don't get fully hard for about six months to a year on that paint. Um, if you've got a low bake oven and you can warm one of these things up to about 300 degrees, then you're back to hardness. But without one of those, you've just got to be very careful for the next few months, hence the reason why we are clamping on the seat post. Now the parts themselves, all on the bench over there, um, they've all cleaned up pretty well. Um, one major issue that I did encounter, I'll get in close and show you, there we go, the uh, original pantographed Lejeune uh, stem. It's 120 long, so a surprising long one for the time, uh, just to stretch the uh, the rider out a bit, probably as it, uh, being a Criterion racer. Um, now, I really love this part. It's a 3T item. However, upon cleaning it up and looking closely, and I don't know whether you're going to be able to see it, uh, but just here uh, where the bolt goes through, there's a small crack. It's cracked all the way through. Um, that's it, that part has had it. Um, it'll stay with the bike uh, in case anyone wants to turn it into a wall hanger, but from a riding perspective, no way. Um, we can't go, uh, there's no way of riding uh, with a cracked part on anything to do with the bike, especially the stem. Even though that crack's not necessarily in an important place, um, if it spreads, or why did it crack in the first place, you just can't have that on your bike. Uh, fortunately, I did have a spare Chinelli 120 stem floating around, so I've popped that on the bars, and I'll be using that instead. Uh, but apart from that, it's all ready to go, so we're gonna get reassembling. I've put a couple of the small parts already on the bike. Now, um, of interesting note, uh, you might notice this uh, rather cool looking Suntor Aero um, changer. Now. Uh, I've been dying to use one of these for a bit, uh, and they're really, really neat. It's a clamp on, so I actually color coded the clamp to match the frame. Um, but what they do um, is they um, there's a little cam uh, inside here that, as you operate uh, the rear shifter, um, it actually moves and it's self trimming of the front derailleur. So as you move that, it should also just hopefully uh move the uh the front derailleur just a little bit so you should be self-trimming um we hope it's self-trimming no idea i've read about these never used one um i was going to put on uh being um simplex throughout i was going to put on some uh, simplex retrofiction shifters and i bought a set and can i find them no um they're here somewhere one day i'll find them maybe i'll swap them out but i did have those i've been dying to find out whether they work or not i've read about them online no idea if they work so i thought hell let's put those on there and see what happens um and if they do work uh from a self-trimming perspective then hey fantastic we'll see how that goes uh but i think the first thing we'll do uh let's get the um uh the forks on there uh, and uh, and then we'll get on to the bottom bracket. Uh, now I've already pressed on uh, our cups. Again, press these on as I said before, it's a simple process with clamps, uh, no using hammers to bash these things on. Okay, uh, I've got a nice little bit of Shimano grease uh, and, and the bearings and everything are ready to go. Only thing I would say um, about the headset uh, it's very good quality but oh man it weighs quite a lot uh, there will be easy weight savings here if you went on to a campagnolo or shimano pop uh, but hey it's original to the bike so we're going to go with these uh, a little bit of grease on always clean and fresh grease even if there is old grease on there and it looks okay don't mess around
Yep, now that's gone on really nicely. Uh, I like that, that's, uh, that's lovely, smooth, clean, fresh, ready to go. Uh, now we're gonna go on to our bottom bracket now. Um, that cleaned up really, really well as well. There's not a lot of mileage on this bike, to be fair. Um, I mean, it's been ridden for a couple of years and then really not ridden hard since then. Great for us. Um, sometimes when you get a vintage bike, it has been ridden into the ground, uh, but not so in this case. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop these on there. So that's our bottom bracket back in there. Um, it's got in pretty nicely. Um, kind of get it nice and tight, back it off ever so slightly, then lock it in place nice and tight so as it won't go anywhere. And uh, now we're going to go on to our favourite part on this bike, which is... the original um, drilled out cranks. Uh, getting nice and close there, should be able to see there, they cleaned up beautifully. Strip them apart, clean them, uh, degrease them, check them, and then put them back together. Really, really nice, we like these a lot. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, pop them straight on. Interestingly, when we cleaned up the cranks, there was a production date on the uh, inner arm of the cranks uh, for 1980. So that figures completely uh, with the theory of the second rebuild uh, of this frame in the early 80s. And I'm just going to finish these off uh, with some nice little alloy dust covers here rather than the original plastic items, uh, which, you know, at best were not pleasant. Great. I always like it when we've got the cranks installed and they're running nicely. Always feels like a bit of a milestone in any bike build. We'll go ahead now and get the brakes on there. Uh, our original uh, Mafac units cleaned up really, really nicely. Um, so we've put some new pads on there and we'll go ahead and just fit these straight up. Well, that's the uh, derailleurs on, and once again, although we've swapped these uh, out from the original Simplex Prestige to the Simplex Super LJ, uh, which are a much, much better unit, um, although not as light, uh, of course, being French, slightly different fittings, quite funky. Um, they've gone on there, uh, should be fine, just haven't uh, ever dealt with anything quite like that before. Um, also, we are now going to pop our wheels on and uh, we've got a slightly more knee-friendly 15 to 24 cassette, sorry, free wheel on the back of that one. Uh, so it uh, should be a little bit more rideable. We're gonna go ahead and pop this on there. I'm not gonna put the chain on yet. I wanna run some lines uh, from the changes, from the shifters, just to see how that front derailleur self trimming works. So there you have it. We have our period vintage race bike restoration complete. Um, it's all together now. Uh, the brake lines went on really well. A few fiddly adjustments to the Mafac racer brakes to get them to work really nicely, but they feel great uh, on the levers. They should be really nice to ride for a period vintage set of brakes. They also look epically cool as well. So I can highly recommend racer brakes uh, for any vintage bike build. Um, the rest of it all went together pretty well. I did have a complete fight uh, with the uh, stem. It, it went down, just didn't want to go down all the way. Obviously some muck in the, uh, the steerer tube probably, um, but uh, about 20 minutes of fighting with that uh, and we got that in place, so no damage done there. Um, so as you know, if you are planning on a vintage bike restoration, kind of parts we put on here, starting at the front, uh, we've got new tires, uh, we've got new brake pads, uh, new bar tape, new hoods, uh, obviously a new uh, brake lines throughout, uh, a new bottle cage, a uh, new chain, uh, new straps here, um, a new old stock um, 
rear free hub uh, obviously replacement um, super lj simplex derailleurs as well um, as well as paint and decals i think if you're doing a really thorough job apart from maybe the paint and the decals these kind of consumables you've got to expect to be replacing and always to replace them with quality parts no messing around these bikes we're going to ride them hard um so uh no messing around but i do hope you enjoyed this series of videos do like and subscribe for more to come vintage bike builds reviews and anything that's cool to do with vintage bikes